hello everyone so in this tutorial we'll be making this line thing uh, we'll be making it in 3d as well as in 2d for 3d we'll use this mesh type look and for 2d we'll use line renderer a lot of games have been made using this same game mechanics so yeah let's get started so i added a new script to our panel and the reason why we added it to our panel is because we'll be using event system event system only works on ui so I'll open this script and we'll use two interfaces but before that let's give reference to our namespace unity engine dot event system the interfaces we'll be using is I pointer down handler and I pointer up handler let's implement them do the right click and go to quick fix and you can see implement interface click on that for both the interfaces you can remove through new exception so on pointer down gets called when the mouse button is clicked over the panel and on pointer up is called when the click stops now let's make a boolean let's name it start drawing and i'll make it true in our on pointer down and make it false in our on pointer up now let's make a new game object let's call it line game object and in start say line game object equals to new game object this should create an empty game object and in the update method let's just say if start drawing the value that we made true in our on pointer down now in our on pointer down let's get our mouse position i made a new vector 3 for that and now let's use square magnitude to see if the distance between our current mouse position and mouse position is bigger than 500 only then we will start drawing our mesh now say line renderer lr lr will be the added component to our line game object now give it a start width and assign a material to it i made a serialized field for the material now let's set our line renders position for our line renders index i'll make an integer called current index and i'll make a serialized field for our camera now in our lr dot set position for the index let's give current index and for the position let's give cam dot screen to world point and i'll make a new vector 3 for that where the x and y axis will be the same but we'll add 10 to our z axis now i'll increment our current index so when the next point is given it's given to the next index and in our on pointer up we'll make current index back to zero now over here in our update we'll set our vector 3 mouse positions to input dot mouse position now to make it work let's do lr dot position count equals to current index plus one by now we should be able to see something but our lines last position always stays at its default position so we'll fix that go back to unity and copy this set position line and we'll paste it at the end and that should fix it right now if we try to create another line it should give us an error so in the on pointer up we'll call the start method and it should recreate a new empty game object and also add a rigid body to our line object and set our lr's use world position to false so gravity can actually work on it now we want our line to collide with all the objects so I made a serialized field for a collider prefab now this step is really important for adding a 3d line and as well as adding a perfect collision in our 2d line so I went to edit mode and selected everything press the A key to select everything and then press G to move object and then Z so when you press the Z it will fix the movement to the Z axis and just press 1 to move one unit that should snap our origin perfectly to the start of z-axis now if we'll scale the y-axis which is the z-axis for blender this is what should happen i made a prefab of our model and gave it a reference i'll make a transform i'll name it last instantiated collider and i made an if statement which will check if our last instantiated collider is not equals to null and let's leave it like that for a second and under that i'll say last instantiated collider equals to 
instantiate collider prefab for our vector 3 position we'll do get position add current index of our line renderer and for rotation i'll just do cotanian dot identity and for the parent of our line let's just do line game object dot transform in our if statement i added a new vector 3 which got the position of the current index and i set the last instantiated colliders look at value to this current line position i paused my game at the runtime find the perfect scale for our collider the last collider that gets instantiated will always be wrong because it won't have any point to look at so on pointer up we'll destroy that game object now this is really important for the 3d mesh type look so we we'll set the local scale of our collider we'll set the x and y value for the scale as the default value of our prefab and for the z value i'll just calculate the distance between our current line position and our last instantial collider dot position and in the end just multiply it with some value 0 0.5 worked perfectly for me some blocks had uh, rotation issues so i fixed that by checking the distance if it's bigger than 1000 and i use fixed update instead of update which also was optimized just for the final step add this if statement in which we check if the y rotation of our last instantiated is zero then we just simply change the y rotation to 90. you can disable the mesh renderer from a prefab if you want to use it as 2d and for 3d you can save the values in a vector 3 rather than a line renderer for the final step i just disable the collider just after instantiating and enabled it in our if statement now for love balls you can simply store the rigid bodies in a list and enable their use gravity on pointer up this was the output and for happy glass i just made a trigger inside the glass which stored the values of all the colliders i used kool-aid instead of water because you know still running i just So you can see it's detecting my hand to to jump. Holy <laughs> shit! It says this guy has a micro PP. <laughs> Damn, my hands ain't that small. All right, that's it for the video. If it was helpful, you can leave a like, and you can subscribe to my channel for future updates. Thank you.